Today in my video, I'm going to answer the question of what my favorite game engine is. And it should be pretty obvious from the title of this video, but this is completely subjective, meaning this is just my personal opinion from the engines that I've used. There may be engines that I haven't used that I would like more, or ones that I don't understand well enough yet that I would also enjoy more. This is this is what I think at this moment anyways, and kind of my thoughts. So let's cover the engines that I've actually used in the past. I started out with GameMaker and I was only a teenager. I didn't know how to program. So it was a good engine for me because of those things. The next engine that I tried was obviously everyone tried. I mean, most everyone has tried Unity. And the very first time I tried Unity, I bounced off of it pretty hard. I didn't like how much there was to learn in the editor. The programming language put me off a little bit too because I didn't understand vectors at the time. And you pretty much need to understand how vectors work or else you're gonna be really lost. So I bounced off of Unity pretty hard. The next engine that I tried using a little bit of was called Superpowers. So I used Superpowers, messed around with it a little bit. I didn't really, it didn't really feel like it was for me. So then the next engine I tried was Godot and I didn't really give it much of a chance. I think I initially thought that it might be C++. So because of those reasons, I bounced off of Godot as well. The next thing I tried was, I think I tried Unreal. So I picked up Unreal, however, my experience, let me tell you about my experience with Unreal, okay? Unreal is probably an amazing engine for 3D, but I don't feel like it's good for 2D. Not that you can't make a 2D game with it, I just feel like there are other tools out there that are better su suited to 2D. I just remember going through some of the tutorials and even some of the developers, as they were going through their tutorial, they would run into stuff where they were like, oh, I'm not really sure what this is. Um, or this isn't working quite how I expected. And I was like, if they are, if they understand Unreal pretty well and they're running into stuff, I'm gonna be running into stuff like that all the time because I'm new to the engine. So I bounced off Unreal very hard. <laughs> I'd still like to learn Unreal someday for 3D stuff. At that point, I had started picking up Godot again. I had a student that actually went through my space shooter course on Udemy using Godot instead of GameMaker. And it was really cool. And he showed me some of the stuff that he'd done and he showed me the engine. And I started picking up GD script a little bit and learning more about GD script. And I was like, this is actually, this is actually pretty cool. So I started using Godot. I made a couple small projects, kind of remaking some of my old stuff in GameMaker, but in Godot so I could kind of see the differences. And I started to really like the engine, I started to really Really enjoy Godot. I was kind of doing it on the side, not really doing any YouTube videos about it yet because I was still new to it, but I was having a lot of fun. I ended up picking up Love 2D as well, messing around with it and made a small prototype in Love 2D. It was an entity component system and I actually liked Love 2D as well. I, I liked the, the language and the way Love 2D was set up, all the wonderful libraries that are out there that you can use, but I did feel like having a level editor is something that's really important to me and I couldn't find anything that fit that very well with Love 2D. Those are the, those are the main engines that I've messed around with, so I would say I've actually started I've used unity a couple other times since the very first time that I bounced off of it and especially after learning Godot unity feels quite a bit easier to me makes quite a bit more sense and I can see myself using it potentially in the future depending on the project that I'm working on those are the engines game maker Godot unreal unity love 2d superpowers. Let's talk about GameMaker versus Godot because those are my those are the two that I use the most that I'm the most comfortable in that I feel the most qualified to talk about. So GameMaker is obviously the one that I've been using the longest and I feel like GameMaker is an extremely good engine for small 2D games that have interesting mechanics but don't necessarily have complicated interacting systems and don't necessarily have a lot of UI. So what does that mean in English? Platform games, shooters, like simple shooters, 2D hack and slash, maybe, maybe even like a Metroidvania. And the reason is because as you start to have systems that interact more and more with your project, it gets difficult 
to manage the coupling of the project. Why is that? It's not necessarily GameMaker's fault. You don't have functions in GameMaker which can make things difficult because scripts are global scope. So any object can call any script. That doesn't mean that you can't solve that problem because you can solve that problem in GameMaker. There are ways to solve these kinds of problems and there are very smart programmers out there solving them and, and making huge games inside of GameMaker. Objects are indexed so you can grab any object at any time very easily. Uh, that's both a plus for like prototyping and quick stuff but it's also a negative because it, it can create coupling. It makes it easy to create coupling as well with other objects. So, you know, objects constantly accessing other objects all the time, that makes your code difficult to deal with as it grows. And so these are a lot of the things that people are running into, not necessarily 100% game maker's fault. The system facilitates it a little bit, that's true, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you can't do it right. It just means that it's easier to do wrong. And, and the other thing that I mentioned was UI. And GameMaker, you're going to have to write all of your UI code from the ground up. So if you have a complicated UI, if you want to have input that doesn't propagate to other menus and stuff like that, those are gonna be problems that you're gonna have to solve in GameMaker. If you wanna put in the work to do that, you can do a good job of it, but you're gonna be reinventing the wheel to some degree with your UI. For GameMaker, I recommend if you wanna build like a small, tight platformer, you know, with an interesting mechanic, or a shooter of some sort, a top-down shooter, a space shooter, or even like some sort of a, a mobile game, Flappy Bird, something like that. Game Maker's really good at those kinds of things, and I'm not trying to diss on Game Maker because I love Game Maker, but in my experience, that's what it's good at, and it does those things very well. So if that's what you're interested in making, it's a great engine, a perfect engine for that. Can it do other things? Yeah, Undertale, Hyperlight Drifter, Rivals of Aether, all three of those games were made using Game Maker and they're not in that specific, in that area. I feel like they would be more difficult in Game Maker, um, but they did it very well. And so they just had to put in the extra work for those kinds of things. But if you're already familiar with the engine, it might be worth it because you have to put in work to learn another engine. Godot. I have been using Godot for less time than I've been using Game Maker, but I already like it quite a bit. I've made, like I said, a couple small projects. I feel like Godot is really great for, well, first of all, any game that has a lot of UI. Godot is really great for that because they have a bunch of built-in UI stuff that you can theme to match your game. And the UI system in Godot is very powerful. The UI for the engine was written using the UI stuff that you can use in your game. So anything you see in the engine, you could probably do in your game as well pretty easily and then just theme it. So that's very powerful. Right away, that's a huge plus. So if your game has a lot of UI in it, Godot might be a good solution. It's also, I'm not gonna, I should mention, I'm not gonna talk about price in this, although that is something to consider for some people that Godot is free and open source and GameMaker is a paid software. I don't feel like GameMaker is overpriced. I do wish they had a better trial version, but I don't think it's unfairly priced. So I'm not really gonna talk about price here, but that is something to consider for some people. So Godot, get back to Godot. So uh, it, it takes a little bit longer to set stuff up sometimes. GameMaker is really quick. You can make stuff very fast in GameMaker. I'm always gonna use GameMaker for prototyping over other engines because it's so fast. Godot, I think, does better with complicated systems. Creating coupling is a little bit more difficult. They have a scene tree if you wanna access another node in that tree or object, you could say you have to kind of step towards it and find it. It's trickier to get access to other objects, which makes coupling more difficult. Not that you couldn't create coupling, it's just harder now. It has a very cool scene system that also helps to prevent coupling if you can make everything inside of that scene work independent of another scene. Uh, so you can basically run your player scene and make sure that it works when it's not connected to anything else then you can, uh, that helps you to prevent coupling as well. 
and then it's got functions that you know aren't global scope so because of these things i think godot is good for rpgs turn-based strategy games point and click adventure games because of all the ui i think that godot could do anything game maker can do and game maker can do anything that godot can do in these areas but these are the things that i think they're both good at so which one's my favorite well, my favorite is actually Godot. I think because mainly because of the t kinds of games that I want to make, Godot seems to fit my needs better. So even though my channel is more focused on Game Maker, my favorite engine to use right now is actually Godot. And that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop using Game Maker for stuff. It doesn't mean I'm going to stop promoting Game Maker. It just means that I enjoy using Godot more personally. And with the projects that I'm making in the future, um, end hall, the one I'm working on right now, and my kind of secret project that I haven't really told you guys about a lot about yet. I'm planning on making both of those inside of Godot. So there you have it. Hopefully you found this video interesting. I know some of you have been asking me, would you like Godot or Game Maker better or and why? Here's the video to help answer that question. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys later.